This is a composite picture of Jane Sahara Doe. She was found dead in a vacant parking lot 37 years ago near Las Vegas Boulevard and West Sahara. Well, tonight, the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children is releasing new details about the case with hopes that someone will come forward with answers. 13 Action News reporter Gina Lazar is live in our studio with these new leads tonight. Gina. Trisha, pollen grains taken from Jane Doe's clothing give detectives some clues about where the teenage girl may have lived and where she may have worked. Police want to know who Jane Doe is and what happened to her nearly four decades later. Police call her Jane Sahara Doe, and that's because the teenage girl's body was found in a vacant parking lot on the corner of South Las Vegas Boulevard and West Sahara Avenue. That discovery was made 37 years ago this month. This victim has a family out there, and we want to be able to find that family. New leads tonight give police hope that maybe we will someday learn what happened to this girl and maybe someday learn who she was. Anytime we have something to go off of, our detectives want to be able to go off of that information and be able to bring closure to this family. Pollen grains taken from Jane Doe's clothing show she may have spent some time in Napa Valley or the Central Valley of California. Detectives also believe Jane may have lived in a trailer park on East Lake Mead Boulevard. The new information also suggests Jane Doe's name may have been Shauna. There's a lot of people that might come through with that name Shauna, but we're hoping with a name, with a picture, might be able to help tie up some of those loose ends. Metro believes Jane Sahara Doe was between the ages of 16 and 21 years old. The girl was found nearly four decades ago, lying face down with only some of her clothes on. And when they found her, she had no teeth. That information alone might be what we need to solve this case. Well, we have close-up pictures of what Jane Sahara Doe was found wearing that night 37 years ago. Those pictures are on our website, ktmv.com. She had red fingernail polish on and very distinct jewelry. Gina Lazara, 13 Action News. Gina, thank you.